I see a lot of L&D executives comparing themselves to the marketing team. The marketing teams handle huge budgets and are always invited to the table. These L&Ds feel they are not in the same league. Well, I'm telling you, I completely disagree. In the past decades, marketing has turned into a center of profit versus a center of cost. Their budget increased and they became superstars. But the same has happened for great L&Ds. From a support function, they became the quarterback of the business strategy. In this series, we decided to help you analyze these marketing best practices and translate them into your L&D department. It will help you maximize your impact on your learner's engagement. <laughs> In this episode, I will start with the basics. Let's see what you can learn from the marketing funnel. Hi guys, I'm Laura and I work in marketing at 360 Learning. This channel is for L&D executives who want to have a business impact. We believe L&D executives can become great business leaders and change their employees' lives. <laughs> wait, 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 what's a marketing funnel? In marketing, a funnel represents the different steps a person has to take before becoming a customer. And it's a long journey. Say you want Bob to buy your product. First, you need Bob to know you. Then, he has to pay attention to what you're saying. Then, he has to show interest for what you sell. And then, hopefully, he'll buy your product and become your customer. This funnel can be applied for every business. Let's take the example of 360 Learning. At first, L&D executives hear about us. For example, here on YouTube. Then, they visit our website and download one ebook. Then. It makes them think they should also try digital learning. They get in touch with us and talk with our team about a project. And finally, they become a client and make learning great again. <laughs> okay, but why do we talk about these stages? Why do we make things so complicated? Because by differentiating all these steps, you can actually understand where you lose your audience and take actions to improve your funnel, that is, get more customers. Now, let's see how this applies to your learning program. Your audience here is your pool of employees targeted by a specific program. The first step is for them to hear about your program. Then they have to discover your program by landing on a page and getting to know the specifics. Then it has to appeal to them so that they launch the program. And finally, they have to complete it. For every single step, you should check the number of employees so you'll see where they're stuck and you can take action to help them make it to the next level. Here, average L&D executives think they're done, but they're not. To be one of the best L&Ds out there, you have to take into account one more crucial step. Once your learner completed the program, you can help learners complete the process too, and even create courses himself. <laughs> In the next episodes, we'll go more into detail and tell you how you can work on these different steps. So stick around and subscribe now for more marketing insightful tips. That's it for today. Bye!